Food Insecurity by Brandon Collins and Nathan Lee. What is the difference between food security and food insecurity? Being food secure means one has economic and physical access to sufficient quality and quantity of nutritious foods to meet the dietary needs necessary to live a healthy and active lifestyle. Food insecurity is the inability to access or consume an adequate diet consisting of healthy nutritious food in socially acceptable ways. In a 2012 survey, approximately 1 out of 8 households were reported as having inadequate access to regular healthy meals. Let's take a closer look at someone who has food security and someone who does not. To the right we have Ben, a middle class man with a university education and stable employment. Ben has supported family and friends during his childhood and later received financial assistance from family to help him acquire a university education that helped him obtain the good paying job he has today. And on the left, we have Jim, a younger man with little social support from family and friends, no education, and is living paycheck to paycheck. This is largely attributed to the fact that his father passed away at an early age. In order for him to take care of his younger siblings, he had to work and therefore had to sacrifice his education. A common misconception is that people like Jim are food insecure because they have poor budgeting skills and or lack the necessary knowledge to have a healthy diet. The real problem lies in economic and physical access to healthy foods. Jim lives in a low-income neighborhood where he is not within walking distance of a food market. These neighborhoods are often referred as food deserts. This is because grocery chains tend to locate in higher income areas in order to sell the most product. Even if Jim was lucky enough to be near a grocery store, he would still be lacking the income to properly purchase healthy foods. Because of this, Jim's cheaper alternative is resorting to eating a lot of fast food. Due to eating unhealthy foods all day, people with lower incomes have an increased chance of being overweight. This and not receiving adequate nutrients your body needs increases your vulnerability to chronic diseases such as coronary heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and food allergies. After examining the life experiences of Ben and Jim, we can see how the family neighborhood you're born into and other social determinants factor into where you find yourself years later. What can you do? One of the main ways is to donate at a local food bank. You can also volunteer at soup kitchens or help set up a community garden. However, there is a downside. This entails that community-based food assistance programs often do not support the achievement of healthy diets to its recipients. Therefore, the government needs to enforce that healthy foods, especially staples such as milk, are affordable. They should also make availability of affordable housing as a top priority considering many families have to decide between paying their rent or feeding their family. The problem will not solve itself overnight. Governments have to make a lot of changes to our system in order for Canada to be truly food secure. But every contribution you can make towards this end goal is making little steps closer to the finish line. Here are some websites that you can use to look at ways to volunteer.